as we walk out to this pool area we've got a hillside that we had to deal with and the big challenge was all the trees around we wanted to keep those and if you're going to keep trees you can't change elevation you have to stay a certain distance away uh, this pool was designed primarily for grandkids to have a lot of fun so we've got a fence around it from a safety standpoint even though we're out here in the, in the country uh, you know we want it to be safe so so we walk out from the house first thing we're going to walk into it's a beach entry We've got a couple of gushers here uh, to keep the water stirred up have a lot of fun in it and the kids to have a great place to play this is a very unique pool concept and the fact that it's a double level pool the upper level, as you can see here, is the beach entry going in, and then we have a uh, recreational depth pool so we can play volleyball and basketball, lots of places for the kids to play, uh, lots of patio areas around it for everybody to keep an eye on them. Uh, the different levels were to accommodate the trees and the grades that they were at. Uh, we come in with some uh, very low maintenance plantings, uh, awesome palm trees. So. We've got these retaining walls to deal with the, uh, the oaks again. Uh, so as we come around here, we're going to step up to a terrace here where we could have a large table uh, gathering area sitting over here in the trees. Uh, but we have an awesome view of the upper pool and the uh, outdoor kitchen and bathroom setup that we have. The slide kind of blends in, unlike most slides, because what's taking place is the stairs are only going up basically about two, two and a half feet above the patio because the slide's going down into the lower basin. Uh, so we have a six foot drop, but it doesn't look like it's six foot because it's not from this side. Uh, the plants around it soften things up. And uh, as we uh, go down the steps here, which take us to another terrace, uh, which is at the pool level itself. And then We've got a planter for these palms down at the lower level. And this is what's called a drop beam where the wall of the pool becomes a retaining wall. Most of the time it's a cut stone, but here because of the setting we've got boulders used all on it, which then blends around in the corner into the big water feature that's taking place here. So this is the vanishing edge pool, but the primary view is not from the top, it's actually from here at the bottom. So, as so we come down here to the fire pit, where everybody likes to hang out in the winter time and enjoy the, uh, the pool, we get to see this awesome water feature that goes the full length of the pool, uh, which is a vanishing edge. Uh, it's got a grotto tucked into the side over here where the kids can hang out as uh, you get a nice ride down from the slide. So we've got all stone decks all the way around. Now, this lower pool is designed as a diving pool. So it has the width, the length, and the depth of a standard diver. Now it also is set up with the dive rock, which is a little bit unique in the fact that uh, we didn't want a diving board in this setting, it didn't fit. The other thing is a lot of people like it better uh, from a safety standpoint. There is one place it's safe to dive into that pool, and it's from this point. We've got the right width, the right depth, and the right length. Uh, the slide's coming in the opposite side, and that's coming into four and a half feet of water. And then we transition to the steps recessed over here to the slide. So we've got all stone decks all the way around. Uh, the pool equipment is critical that it be at the same level or lower than the pool. So the pool equipment was set over here and a stone wall has been placed around that. There will be some landscaping that goes in front of that in a little bit. Uh, but this slide transitions nicely from the upper level down to the lower level. There's a planter there on the back that supports the big palm trees, uh, which helps it seem like it's kind of tucked in to the side of this uh, cool waterfall. So as we walk up the steps here, we get to the uh, outdoor kitchen area. Between it and the pool, 
Again, another large patio area so we could have a large table for family gatherings. And where do you think every birthday party and anniversary and wedding is going to be? It's going to be here. Uh, so here we've got the outdoor kitchen. Uh, we've got a fridge, trash can, uh, serving area, and a very nice grill. And then we go inside the cabana to the bathroom area. But we're going to let that be at the moment. So once again, awesome view, awesome setting, awesome pool for family and friends. Thanks for coming and seeing us here in Boyd, Texas tonight. We'll talk to you all later.